Hello. I thought I'd do a vlog because people do vlogs, don't they now? So I thought I'd do a little vlog and um, just uh, talk about <laughs> talk about um, what's going on. That's what people do now, don't they? They're a vlogger. You become a vlogger and then you go from an unknown to being on Strictly. That'd be nice. Yeah, um, yeah. so I'm gonna promote something that I'm on in November. So there's a few things I've got coming up. November the 6th, it's on Amazon Prime and it's called Now That's Entertainment. And I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, the executive producer said it's from, it's sort of like Gogglebox meets Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a load of judges who are from Britain's Got Talent, who have previous winners, and singers also from X Factor, Sam Bailey, and Gogglebox, the fantastic Sandra Martin. I adore that lady. She's just larger than life, brilliant, brilliant, wonderful woman. Um, I'm not just saying that because she put me through to the show, but yeah, she is just a great personality, a beautiful, wonderful woman. So it'll be fantastic to see Sandra back on our screens. And they're starting filming now, which will go out on the 6th of November for six weeks. And then there's a final in December. I mean, I would love to get through to that final and win that trophy um, and that money so I can do Edinburgh Fringe, like in style next year, not have to stay in the devil's, the devil's, I can't really swear, can I? The devil's um, part of the anatomy. It's just horrible where I've stayed before. So yeah, that would be amazing if I won that, but I know I'm up against so much talent. I don't expect to win, so. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I said after doing Britain's Got Talent, I didn't want to do impressions anymore, but I did a gig at Museum of Comedy this year, and oh, it was wonderful. Thank you to the people that came to see us at the Museum of Comedy last month in August. It was so good, I had such a good gig. And we did impressions, I did 20 minutes stand-up. I love doing stand-up, but we did all, all our impressions and the fantastic Sara Louise Aston played Lorraine Kelly. I can't do Scottish, even though I am a bit Scottish, I can't do that accent. But yes, yeah, we did the Lorraine Kelly show and I did loads and loads of impressions as her guests. So we really, really enjoyed that. We're hoping to take that onto the circuit. Um, I've been doing like a few stand-up gigs. I've got a few of them coming up. But yeah, I really want to plug the Now That's Entertainment show on Amazon Prime starting the 6th of November. So yeah, I'm really excited about being in that. Thank you to everybody who voted for me to be in the show as well. And thank you to Sandra for putting me through as a comedian or impressionist. I'm going to do impressions, even though I could go on as a stand-up. But I feel that I want to sort of nurture my impressions. I think when I did Britain's Got Talent, I wasn't ready. Like, a lot of criticism, people said, she's early. Yeah. <laughs> I was early, like a pensioner. Pensioners are always early, isn't they? My mummy, so I'm like, oh, I've got 10 minutes yet. I ain't even like blow dried me hair. Yeah, I was early, I admit it. And I've just been actually for an audition because um, today was the first day I felt okay. I've had like a 10 day migraine and I was just thinking, please, please let me be okay today because I had an audition for my acting agent and uh, just for a commercial. And I went up London, I got up at like the crack of Clare and I've just come back from London and it's midday and I walked around, like it, the audition was in Oxford Street, so I walked around Carnaby Street, it's lovely to be back there 
I went to the Ronnie Woods art exhibition, that was really cool. The Museum of Youth Culture, that was really cool. And uh, usually on a Wednesday, I sing in music box just around the corner with a load of musicians. And they're the talented ones because they play an instrument. I can't play an instrument. I can play, I don't know, no, I can play games. I can't really, so I do a bit of singing there and have a bit of a laugh. Um, so it's, I was a bit gutted I missed that, but it's wonderful to go to London. Anyway, I'm waffling now. So yeah, tune in Amazon Prime on the 6th of November. For now, that's entertainment. And I'd love to go through, I really would. If I don't, then my audition's been shown on Amazon Prime. And if I get through, that would be brilliant because then I can continue with my impressions and we can just have a laugh. It's nice to be in the comedy category. Another thing I've got coming up is a charity gig. You know, I love my charity gigs. And that is on the 27th of November. And it's at Burnt Mill Social Club, you know, that place where we go with the glittery curtains. And um, it's right near the station, so it's easy to get to. You come out of Arlo Station, and it's just that little white building on the left near the Holiday Inn. And we're going to have the fantastic Pam Ford. She's our headliner. Winter Fernanda, CJ Hooper, he's emceeing with me. Um, he's doing more emceeing than me because I'm performing with the fantastic Sarah Louise Aston. So we, we'll be, be doing our show for you, our fringe show. And um, we think tickets, we haven't put our tickets out yet. It's a bit early because it's like a Christmas gig, isn't it? So we think there'll be about a tenner. And all the money is going to go to Princess Alexandra Hospital. I did a fundraiser for Princess Alexandra Hospital in March, back in March this year. We did a Zoom gig with Fat Larry's band. Yeah, we did a Zoom gig with, oh, the wonderful Lost Voice guy who won Britain's Got Talent. He donated his services. Uh, we didn't raise a lot. We got hundred and something pounds, but they wrote to us. Um, and also there were other fantastic comedians, uh, Chris Barnes, Trevor Feelgood, Daniel Benisti, Amy Cooper, Mad Ron. Um, yeah, thank you, everybody. And uh, they got written to, we all got written to, um, you know, from the hospital, got a letter to all of us saying, you know, thank you so much, the staff. Uh, at the hospital really really appreciated it so it goes to the staff who work really really hard on everything at the hospital especially during the pandemic so we're going to be doing um, a real life fundraiser I'm really excited because the last one was on zoom and yeah we've got a fantastic lineup I'm trying to get a disco I don't know if we're going to get one yet but um, I'm hoping that you will come along because all the money goes to Princess Alexandra Hospital. So yeah, I'm just plugging that. Please put the 27th of November in your diary for a charity comedy night at Burnt Mill Social Club in Arlo. And also the 6th of November on Amazon Prime. Now that's entertainment. Or you can just not bother and not care <laughs> yeah do what you like but yeah they're two dates i'm hoping to get more stand-up gigs in camden and around london but yeah i'm gonna uh go and uh i think have a wash i've been on the tube people still aren't wearing masks in there it's like i feel like you know, like, really, like, oh, even though I've had a shower, I washed my hair at six o'clock this morning, I feel like, oh, 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 you know, like, oh. Oh. Anyway, thank you for listening. I've been talking. I can half talk, can't I? Thank you so much. Hope to see you tuning in to Amazon Prime on the 6th of November. And please, please come to our charity do on the 27th.
November to raise money for Princess Alexandra Hospital. Right, I've sold myself now. Bye.